Hey guys, Stan here. And guess what? I'm in Texas. Today is the day of my cousin's wedding and it was supposed to be an outdoor ceremony over there. But it decided to rain really, really hard. So the whole ceremony was moved into this, this area here. It's a really nice venue, but it kind of sucks that it can't be utilized to its full potential anymore. You know, I'm not really used to this type of vlogging, to be honest. I'm not wearing my helmet, so my face is exposed. And I'm only doing this because no one else is out here. But yeah, here's a view of the, of the area. There's a nice fountain over there. That would have been beautiful to have as a backdrop, especially for the ceremony. That would, be, would have been right over there. But you know what? It's still going to be a beautiful wedding regardless, because weddings are beautiful. This is my cousin. She's getting married. Hi. And um, let's ask the question that everyone's been wondering. Are you excited for the honeymoon? Of course I am. So where's your honeymoon going to be? Florida. 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 What question do you Disney World? We're going to Disney World. Okay. So uh, I'll record you when you're walking down the aisle, okay? I'm back. So, if you didn't know, I went over to Texas since uh, Wednesday. That was June 1st. And if you don't know, the reason being is because you don't follow my Instagram. So, you know what? If you don't follow my Instagram, then freaking do it. So, I woke up this morning and I checked on Craigslist just because uh, that's what I do. And I saw that there was an Icon Striker vest for sale. And it was one of the newer ones. And they were selling it for $100. So, that's half the price of what it usually is. So, I messaged the guy right away. And now I'm withdrawing money so that I can buy the freaking vest. That's a good deal, $100. And like we look at the weather right now, it's beautiful, but it's way, way too hot. So, and there's like a camera right here. I wonder if it can hear me talking. I wonder how dangerous it would be to be to go to one of these drive through ATMs at nighttime on a bike. Probably get jacked up for sure. All right, so let me talk about my Texas trip. It was pretty fun. I got to see all my cousins again. It was like a little family reunion. And I was there for my cousin's wedding. So I got to see my cousin get married and she's the same age as me. Not like, not that it makes me feel bad that she's getting married because I'm not, but it's whatever, you know? <laughs> so anyways, Texas. Uh, sorry if you're from Texas and you're watching this, but I'm gonna go on a little rant. First off, the humidity there is just way, way too much for me. It's just, it feels like, I don't know what it is. It feels like a third world country sometimes. And the weather was just terrible. It was raining and it was, it was really warm, but it was raining hard. And I didn't like that. I was picturing riding there. I was like, no, how do people ride here? The roads suck, crazy bumpy, and all the lines, all the painted lines are all faded. So you don't know where the hell you are. And I, I drove around using a rental car, but yeah, I did not like it. And whenever I would be passenger and someone else was driving, I would just get a headache instantly in the car because of all the all the bumps on the road. There's so many potholes. I also saw a few riders there and they were not wearing helmets. That's crazy. So is that is that a thing in Texas that you don't have to wear a helmet? That's not required? That's absolutely absurd. Like, do people not care about their lives over there? Especially with the roads. It's like... I feel like there was really no city to see around there. It was just, um, wow, total squids. Yeah, there's like no city to see. It's just all highway. I mean, the highways look really cool. Like you have one highway over here and then you have another highway going up here and then there's another highway in the back going like that and like another one. It looked really, really cool. But yeah, I don't know. I just can't picture myself ever living there and I don't think I ever want to go back there to be honest. Vancouver is beautiful. I love it here and the roads are just so much easier to ride on the 
I feel like everything was not really as advanced in Texas as it is here. Like, I don't know, all the all the street lights were being hung by wires and it was just dangling all over the place. I feel like it just wasn't as organized. And again, maybe I'm just getting used to the, where I'm living. That could be it, right? I got really homesick after the first few days. I just... I guess it's not really homesick. Is there a word for this? But, like, bike sick. I, I wanted to ride my freaking bike. That's all I could think of. But yeah, as I said earlier, I'm actually en route to buy the Icon Striker vest right now. So I'm taking a different route than I usual. So this is kind of a good excuse to vlog as well. Because now you guys are going to see something different. Park illegally in the shade for now. Oh god, I'm dying. It's Texas guy. I named him Icon Striker Vest on my phone. So let's text him. Okay. Am I still recording? I can't remember. Okay, still recording. So <laughs> I got the vest and you know what I'm gonna try it out right now I apologize if you're watching this but I am gonna slightly squid out today actually you know what I'm pretty much full on squidding out I only have the vest um, non-protective gloves these are summer gloves and obviously the helmet but that's about it okay <sighs> let's do this I'm so happy I have this Vespa, like, right now, while I'm riding, it just feels amazing. It feels really good to squid out. But, obviously, you don't do it all gear all the time, you know? Oh, shit. You know what freaked me out while I was in Texas? I had, like, four people message me. Three people message me on Stan the Motor Man on the Facebook, my Facebook page. Also, if you don't follow that, freaking like my Facebook page. Thank you so much. And uh, I had also Sam message me saying that she saw an orange bike. They all said that they saw an orange bike in different locations. And it, it freaked me out because I left my, my bike in the garage, but I was worried that maybe my grandma didn't close the garage behind me when I left. So the first thing I did was, obviously I called home and I asked if the bike was still there. And uh, luckily it was. Thank God. I thought someone stole my bike and just rode it around and pretended to be me. <laughs> so I guess someone else, someone else has the same bike as me. That's pretty cool. It'd be really cool to meet that person. And just, you know, get a little cameo of them in a video or something. Oh my God, I'm dying here. Oh, that guy. Probably got busted for being on his phone. Sometimes cops just stand on the side of the road, just watching people to see if they get on their phones. And then they'll say, okay, turn over here and I'll meet you there. And they take your license too, that way you can't run away. That sucks, look at that. Yeah. Ooh, GTR, nice. I like that one. Yeah, I don't know if, that, if my GoPro caught it, but there was some cop just looking at me. Just from hiding in the bushes. That's the good part about being on a motorcycle though, is because you can't reach for your freaking phone. You're not tempted to, to look at it. I mean, I'm tempted to look at it whenever I hear notifications going off on my scenes, but I can't physically look at it while I'm riding, so... So it's probably best that I don't get a ram mount, even though I want one. So anyways guys, I've been riding around for so many hours now and I better wrap it up so peace out guys, see you in the next video.